Daytime baseball here on MLB and Network. We've got you, baseball on the 4th of July Bobby. between the Baltimore Oakland. Orioles and the Oakland A's. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. He will lead this one off today. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Davis is after it, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he is in the second base as he kicks things off this afternoon with a double. The third baseman, Hunter Alberto. So now to the plate, Hunter Alberto. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. A man at second with one down. And that'll bring up the power hitting outfielder Trey Mancini. Now a changeup is bounced to second. Reined in. Throw in time at first for out number two. And here's Renato Nunez. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Renato Nunez. Hard hit ball to short and a base hit as the run is in to score and the Orioles have a one nothing lead. Into the box now Anthony Santander and he fouls this one off. Rounded slowly to the left side. Rwanda Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Digging in, Ramon Laureano. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the one and one pitch. It's the outside corner for the second strike. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. So one away here with the bases empty. And striding toward the plate to hit next, Tony Kemp. And that misses. Two and one. One out, nobody on. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Fouled off. Another 2 2 offering. Hit hard on the ground to third. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Next up for the A's, Marcus Semyon. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's 0 for 4. And he'll watch the fastball miss down low. It's 2 and 1. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Simeon carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Ready now for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. The one two fouled away. He'll try again one two. That's a ball. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. The throw to first is in time one down. Now with the plate, Ramon Urias. Nine at-bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. Takes this the other way to right, and that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. And now they've got him in a rundown. They slap the tag on him, and he is out at second base. 
Stepping in now, Pedro Severino. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there. Stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Into the box, Chris Davis. And a breaking ball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Last half of the second set to go, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Matt Olson. The 1 1 is taken for strike two. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Here's another one, too. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Back-to-back -back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though ground ball sent back up the middle Iglesias is there and that's out number one so now it's Mark Hanna he's two for seven in the series so far and they come inside with the fastball but it misses here and it's back to two and two shot down the line and this will stay inside the third base bag a fair ball and he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit to the plate now Matt Chapman too high that time and it's three and one they know the threat this guy possesses at the plate I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. And that's through, a base hit. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. In now, Chris Davis. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls and two strikes. The count to Chris Davis. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Count remains two and two. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. The right field. Defense. Got him. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty, two and two. Grounded back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Standing in now, Austin Allen. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Number 22. Here's the payoff pitch. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. Into the box, Jose Iglesias. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. 1 1 now to Iglesias. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. Stepping up to the plate, Hanser Alberto. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. The right field at number 15, Trey. At the plate, Trey Mancini swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. 
And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And that's going to move that runner now into back. scoring position now. Renato Nunez. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. At the plate now, Anthony Santander. One ball and two strikes to count. Bases are empty here with two men out. swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike and the inning is over. Stepping into the box, Tony Kemp. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Here now the 2-2. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. The batter number 10. Striding in for Oakland, Marcus Semien. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Ready with the one and two. Simeon stands at first with one out. One two is an off speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. Gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. On to Davis for a side retiring double play. Austin Hayes the next to bat. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. 3-1. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. A uh, full count now for the Orioles center fielder. Line drive to center field. Loriano is right there, one down. Now batting, Ramon Urias. He's been great lately, and it's resulted in his being awarded with the American League Rookie of the Month Award. Grounded to short. Simeon's there. And safe at first on a bang-bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. He's running. Pitch outside. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. to first and he'll take this one to the bag for the out but meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base in now for the O's Chris Davis looking to put the ball in play here he went down on strikes in his first at bat check swing no swing says the home putt umpire ball two all even now two and two Working for the punch out and the offering. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they a swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Into the box now, Jose Iglesias. And it's fouled away. An 
Another full count pitch home. Lifted down the line in left. And it in fact lands in the corner. Foul. This one's down to third. Chapman's got it. Rwanda Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And striding into bat next, it'll be Mark Canna. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Three balls and two strikes, a full count to the ace DH. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Now back, the third baseman. To the plate now, Matt Chapman. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Hayes on the run for it. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now with the plate, Chris Davis. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Seared down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. This is foul right side. Now another two two. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning. Ready now, Hanser Alberto. The three and one pitch. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the power hitting outfielder, Trey Mancini. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit the target, but this is low, 2 and 1. Lots of hits given up, but so far, no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, 3 and 2. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work. But I like the idea behind it. Loriano is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And digging in next at the plate will be Renato Nunez. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Hit hard to third. Chapman has it cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Michael Rooker will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Michael at the plate, Austin Allen. He drew a base on balls his first time up. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Back up the middle. And a base hit. So the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Now that Number 22. Stepping in now. Ramon Laureano. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. 
The one two. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. The batter, the baseman, Tony. Standing in now, Tony Kemp. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. High fly ball out to deep right field. Mancini moving back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And the run will score on the sack fly as they're hanging around at 5 2 now. So a definite RBI spot here. Runner at third, one away. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Hit pretty well out to deep left field. Santander looks up. Go! Miguel Castro is ready and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 50, Miguel Castro. So now to the plate, Matt Olson. Two and one to the A's first baseman. Three runs already home here. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And they can't run it down. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Another try at 2 2. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full 3 and 2. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number 2. So bases are empty here with two gone, and striding into bat next, it will be Mark Canna. A ball and two strikes. One and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. J.B. Wendelkin will come on now and make his 55th appearance of the year. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Anthony Santander. Didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. High in the air out to center field. Loriano is there, and he has it for the first out. Coming to the plate now, Austin Hayes. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Two two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Now at the plate, Ramon Urias. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Ramon Urias. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Davis going back to the track to the wall and that one is gone. On a two strike count with two away in the inning. At the plate now, Pedro Severino. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Heading after it is Piscotti. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Coming to the plate now, Matt Chapman. A hit in two tries so far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Hit out towards second, and that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff single. 
the left fielder, number two. Into the box, Chris Davis. Swing and a liner. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 1-1 home. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. The 2-2 is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. At the plate, Austin Allen. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Swing and a liner. Foul. The one two. I got to tell two and two. on the ground out to second. Throw on to Davis takes care of him and that'll end the inning. Your attention please. New pitcher coming on now the right hander Yusmero Petit. Stepping up now Chris Davis he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And hey it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Back to the top of the Oriole lineup now and stepping in, Jose Iglesias. He was a ground-out victim last time up. He's set and the one two pitch and he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Six runs nine hits and no errors for the Orioles so far. Liner towards second but right there is the second baseman and that will retire the side. Richard Blyer gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. He came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bat. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at-bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Striding in, Tony Kemp. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Two one pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. Still two and two. The pitch. And he fouls this one off. The two two one more time. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, you start to get into swing mode. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Ready to take his hacks again. Marcus Simeon 
as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. The last at that, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Into the box now, Matt Olson. Runners on the move for second. Hopped up. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. Misses above the zone for a ball. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike one, two. Two strikes. Just hung in there on that one. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Digging in, Anthony Santander. He flew out in his last at bat. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Loriano will call everyone off and track it down for out number two. Digging in now, now Austin bad. Hayes. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. One one. Nope. Ramon Urias would be next if they can keep this inning alive. The three one. Timing just a tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. And he rolls over this one foul. We'll do it once more. Three and two. off lifted in the air out to center field long run for the center fielder he's there to make the play and that'll retire the side Paul Fry is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth Number 51. Paul. Leading off the inning, Rock. Mark Canna, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that means Matt Chapman will dig into the plate. 
changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. Here's Chris Davis now. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Grounded up the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Joaquin Soria enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now at the plate, Ramon Urias. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. Going back to that last A.B., that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. The 2-1. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. So a runner at first now with one away. And up next, the left-handed power bat of Chris Davis. Now a throw over. Runner at first here, one man out. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' first baseman. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. As a look, now the pitch. Jose Iglesias waits on deck. 3-2 pitch. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Digging in to try it again. Jose Iglesias. He went down on strikes last time up. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Now batter. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. And he's got an opportunity to turn this narrow lead into a wide one if he can cash in here. Hops this one up. In comes Piscotti. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. The 2-2. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. And now a crucial spot. Base is loaded. Two men gone. And that'll bring up the power-hitting outfielder, Trey Mancini. The set and the 1-1. One, one. A high. 2-1 and one now. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Two balls and two strikes to Mancini now. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back K's with two runners in. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Michael Gibbons comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Michael Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And up next, the outfielder, Stephen Piscotti. Now the 2 1 pitch. At the ball.
hit the other way out toward right field. Mancini is there and that is a big first out here to start inning number nine. So stepping in Austin Allen a hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. One one home hit well on the ground to first fielded cleanly by Davis and he'll take this on to first and they're down to their final out two away number 22 at the plate Ramon Laureano and he needs to make something happen they're down to their final out here in the ninth the one one home swing and a miss and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game, and it took six here to get the job done, but, hey, they'll do whatever they can to get a W. Six to four, the outcome today. Baltimore led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Michael Rooker gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Michael Givens records the save, his 18th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. score this afternoon. First for the victorious Orioles. Six runs, nine hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Athletics, four runs on nine hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 16 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please